Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will be narrating a story of a sport person who had brought Laurel to India in the field of athletics. We will be talking about Milka Singh, popularly known as the Flying Sikh. The famous motivational writer and speaker Dick Diggler quoted, Sometimes adversity is what you need to face in order to become successful. Milka had faced many adversity in life and that might have contributed to his unprecedented success. Today's video is going to be an interesting and a very informative one. So kindly like the video, share and the comment on the video. And if you haven't subscribed to our, our channel, kindly click the subscribe button. Milka Singh popularly known as a flying sick, was an Indian athlete. He was the first Indian athlete to win an individual athletic gold medal at the Commonwealth Games. He was best remembered for finishing fourth at the Rome Olympic 1960. He had won gold medal for 200 meters in 1958 and 1962 Asian Games. Milka Singh was born in the village of Gobun Pura, Moza Fergar district now in Pakistan on 20 November 1932. He had a large and happy family. Everybody loved his other very much in the family. He used to run when he was a boy. He used to run from home to school and from school to home. He was having a pleasant childhood. The happy life of Milka Singh was about to receive a big toll when India got independence on 15 August 1947 and that the country was partitioned into India and the Pakistan. In the ensuing development, there was a riot between the Hindus and the Muslims. In that riot, most of the family members of Milka, including his parents, were slaughtered by the rioter. He was lucky to have been alive. He had to leave his birthplace and cross the borders with millions of others. He became refugee overnight with no fall of his. He didn't know whether he would be able to eat the next lunch or the next dinner. His living condition was very bad during this time. He was even arrested by the police for stealing to meet his need during this time. Somehow he survived. He not only thrived, but also he was recruited in the Indian Army. His past posting was at Sikandrabad, Andhra Pradesh. His twice with destiny took place at the location. His passion for running was developed by accident at the Army unit. There was a competition for running. If a soldier was selected for the competition, then he would be given an extra glass of milk. On hearing this, Milka enrolled his name. Thus, his passion for athletic was developed by chance. In that competition, he didn't fare much. However, he continued practicing to run. Slowly but surely, he was becoming a better athlete. When he started to perform better, his competitor started to envy him and put up obstacle in his path. When he began running, he was punished for being so much enthusiastic of his race. His trouble before he became famous can be goes from the following paragraph of his autobiography, The Race of My Life. Quote, The night before the selection race, I was suddenly jolted out of a deep slumber by a hard hit on my leg. A bunch of people had pinned me down and thrown a blanket over my head so I couldn't see them. They continued to hit me with stick and the only stopped when my scream alerted my companion." Unquote. Such was his trouble before he became a famous personality. However, he took part in the selection race the next day and was able to get selected. That was his level of patience to race. He didn't earn the title, the flying sick, just by luck. He had to renounce all pleasure and distraction to keep fit and healthy. For two years, he would practice for five hours every morning and evening, seven days a week. That is the height of dedication that one must have in order to achieve anything in one life. At last, he was declared the best athlete of Asia. Behold and learn from the life of Milka that you can achieve anything in your life even if you have failed or lose everything in your life. If you have the determination and the patience to put in the effort, you can achieve anything in your life. Once he has said, True victory lies in racing with one's trouble, 
not in running away from them. How true the saying of Melchizedek is. That's our part today.